guys can get a lot of screenshots. Aiding and abating the American country, and they're betraying their own camp, their own their own country. Go ask them. Do you know what they're going to answer? I already did that a bunch of times. if I can talk to them. How you guys doing? Nice We're to meet good. you guys. Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a journalist from here from Tijuana. Um, uh, where are you guys coming from? I come from San Luis Obispo, California. Oh, yes? Oh, okay. Uh, are you helping, you know, in such a way the immigrants? Are you with a, with a law trying. firm? Yeah. Yeah, yes. We're, we're trying. We're helping some of the Haitians. Yes. This is my son. He's a filmmaker. Hi. He's a okay, reporter from okay. Mexico. Who are you yes, working sir. with? Border Network News? Yes, that's it. I heard you guys have a pretty right angle slant towards everything that's going here. Right angle? Yeah. Like, no. like right. How do you feel right. about this? How do I feel about it? Yeah. Do you want my actual opinion yes, about Yes, I do. That? If you're going to film me, I want your actual opinion, okay. definitely. Yes. Okay. First of all, Article 6 and Article 7 of the Constitution states, as a Mexican citizen, that I can film and that I'm, I can... I don't have any you know, problem with okay. that. Yes, because... Yes, I just so you, want to know what your personal yes, opinion yes, is so if you you're know, me and yes, my mother and my no, family. No, I didn't know that it was your mother, first of all. Second of all... It doesn't matter. I don't have... No, yes. Second of all, you're in my country and you're in my city. No, I was just asking your yes, personal yeah, opinion about because this. I see that you're getting a little bit mad. I'm not mad. So I'm just, you know, I'm just asking them what they're I'm doing. I'm actually not mad at all. You know, second of all, what is my angle of this? I'm just curious what you your know, opinion I, is. We were this. having a conversation over there and I told you, this is a crisis that needs to be resolved. Yeah, I agree with and you. And it is an invasion on our country and Mexico. Sure. And it is an invasion on the sovereignty of the United States. Okay. That is my point of view. Okay, cool. You know, it is respectful. It's an in invasion? It is an invasion. They don't have guns or anything, though. No, but it's 60 million in poverty in Mexico, 28 million in critical condition that we have, and 68 million without medical care. We need to take care of our country first instead of taking care of our Central America, South America, Africa, Asia, and the Midwest. So in what um, ways do you feel resources are being diverted from Mexico to help these people? Our government is taking care of all these people. Where? The shelters in Chiapas and the, all the routes that they're getting to all the way to the borders. Also in Tijuana. We already provided more than three shelters over okay. here. And we're spending millions and millions of pesos when you can go all this, this canal and go and see all the deported Mexicans that they're not getting taken care of. Mm -hmm. So I believe that there's priorities in every country. Okay. And in my country has been suffering and we are a third world class country for millions and millions and thousands and thousands and trillions of years. You're right? such a fortunate man to have someone taking care of you, sir. What's that? You're so fortunate to have someone taking care of you. Oh, yes. You know, uh, you know we live, um, Tijuana is the number one city in the world for violence and delinquency. So imagine, I, you, don't, you don't see me and you don't see my people over here, you know, as, uh, asking for the asylum. You know, we are well, struggling. We are struggling. There are a lot of Mexicans that ask for asylum. Yes, but not the majority of them. And you know, uh, San Salvador so is San Salvador is on number be... 27 in the world for violence and delinquency. Uh, uh, that's do you Honduras. think that Mexicans should not be asking for? Um... Uh, Mexicans don't have the possibility to get asylum. No, 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 sir. no, no, no. no. Uh -huh. That's not what I asked you. Yes. Do you think that Mexicans should not be asking for asylum? They have the right to. They have the right to. Yes, everybody has the right to do it. So do you exactly for that... the front door and ask for the right? Yes, everybody has the right to ask for asylum. Okay. Everybody has the right to ask for asylum. So you believe just those don't Mexicans... jump a fence and and you know Nobody violate. Nobody here is jumping. Fences. No, no, no. Yes, I'm just look, look, man. I've been I've been doing this coverage for eight months. Yeah. I've been watching how they try to rush our border. I've been watching and I have documentation about you know lawyers making fake fam fake uh, marriages and fake families. That is unfortunate. Yes, I have documentation for that. So nobody should and ever make a fake, a fake uh, document yes, to I try have. and avoid. Listen, this is my question to you. Yes, this is my question uh, yes, to you. Yes, go ahead. Should someone forge a marriage document if it means that you're escaping sexual assault, violence, and extreme poverty to help save your own life and your family? You if can, your family was being jeopardized with extreme violence and being your life was threatened, would you be That's violating to, the law, man. I know. I'm asking you a question, yes, that, though. That, no, no. So, okay. So, if there were people who were trying to kill you and you thought personally, this is my, I'm asking your opinion. Yes. 
totally hypothetical scenario. Okay, let's let's go ahead. There are people who are trying to kill you with guns. Uh -huh. I don't know who they are. Okay. And maybe you don't either. Okay. And you think that possibly by forging a marriage document that says you and this other person are married, mm -hmm. that that can get you away from the violence. You wouldn't do that. No. What would your other option be? Claim the asylum directly into the right place, to the right door, and ask for help. It's but not the door, right but, here. But, the yes, door. yes. But you know, I have documentation for everybody not to get mad. We're having a conversation, right? Yeah, we're having. We're a conversation. not. We're not getting mad. No one's upset. Okay. I have documentation of, of lawyers making fake marriages. I have documentation of people making fake families. That's 7,946 were the unaccompanied children from Central America and the borders in the, in the, in the month of February. 8,916 in the month of March. So what are you saying? What are those numbers? The, the, 8,000 the, the what? Una, uh, they're being trafficked. They're being used and they're being rent. 8,916. 8, 8,916 what? Unaccompanied Un minors? Unaccompanied children and uh -huh. minors. Uh -huh. Those were the ones that they were found in every border. Now, okay. let me ask you a question. They're all being trafficked. We are getting being trafficked by children, trafficking guns, trafficking drugs in our borders, and the immigrants are being used as mules to cross drugs. Okay. I know that. I know that because I have people that okay, work so, in jail. So now we're talking about a drug mule problem. Yes. And it, wait, wait. It, now look, we're talking about a drug mule problem, know, not an immigration I know, man, problem, I know. right? This, this, hold I'm on. I'm asking. I'm hold asking. on. Hold on a second. Yes, yes. We're having a conversation. So I'm trying the to follow your point. Yes, yes. My point is the UN pact is 154 countries. Okay. We already know that, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. The UN. Yes. Okay. Yes. There's points for you to cross to our country, and it needs to be the UN PAC has rules and they have laws. Mm -hmm. The number one rule is to come in documented, mm -hmm. peacefully, and with a purpose. As you've seen... Are these people are, trying to do that? Hold on a second. These people are already in Tijuana. But what is happening in Chiapas? Have you seen what is happening over there with our people? I've been to Chiapas. How, how, how they enter our country. I, don't, I have not seen people come entering on. your country. You guys know how they enter our country. They I have had, not seen people they had entering killed, your country they, before. Okay. They had, so they, you can tell okay. me. They had killed four federal officers. They've been raping our women. They've been raping our children. Who's they've been they? kidnapping. The, the people that they've been migrating to the country. Okay. There's so only, there's not, there's, there's people. Who's there's, they? You know, what? Who they? Who, the Who's people they? that they're migrating for the country. Okay, so Center every, America, hold on, people, hold on. Center, yes. So let me clarify, because yes. we're having a conversation. Yes, yes, I yes, want to make yes, sure yes, I understand the point you are making. Yes, yes. Okay. So you're telling me that migrant people are rapists. That's the problem? No, no, they're not, not, not all of them. So how do there's, we discern? No. So, okay, so there are some people who are criminals. <laughs> yes. There that's are some no, people that are criminals. That's what I'm telling you. So, like, those people okay. need to be documented. So Oscar, let me ask you a question then. Go ahead. Are there not criminals in every country? Yes, they are. Okay, so really, if, then if they're the entering my of... country, if they're entering my country, and they're criminals, and they're the rapists, and they're just gang members from MS-13 and MS-18, they need to be documented, okay. and they need sure. to be coming okay. in peacefully Excellent. with a purpose. Of course. Why they're not coming in like that? Okay, so I'm not supporting those people. I know. I'm not here to advocate and explain to you why those people are coming there. Okay. By any means. Okay. I'm asking you a question I've about whether or not answered. you think these people are undocumented rapists. No, no, they're not. Okay. And and really, you so know, then I, what's I, the problem with this process? I don't have a, no, no problem with this process. They're doing it from the front door and they're doing it right. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. You know, if you're coming into a country from the front door and if you migrate in legally and ask for uh, asylum legally, I don't have no problem so with it. So as the Prensa, then what, as the Border Network News, yes. what is the story you're covering right here? How there is a, there is a, there's a humanitarian crisis, first of all, mm -hmm. first of all, mm -hmm. uh, that we're getting invaded in our country and that we're not taking care of the people that we need to take care of, of the people that is Mexico. First is Mexico, second is Mexico, and third is Mexico, man. So these people are all getting, so first, second, and third is Mexico. You're yes, not trying to help is. anyone else. No, first I need to take care of my country and then take care okay, of other so people. Okay, so not until every single person in Mexico is out of not poverty until we, should any of these people get any help. Do you know how many poverty is in, in the United States? 350,000 no, veterans. Man, they're right there. 350,000 no, veterans. No, we're not talking about this okay. poverty in the United States. Yes. We're, because uh, you know what? This is the thing about the United okay. States. The United States has the capacity to help every single one of those veterans and every single person in this line. Okay. I'm, Period. We have that capacity. They're not helping your own veterans. Bro, don't Insurance. start talking to me about veterans because now you're starting to talk about my family. So be yeah, sensitive, uh, okay? Uh, uh, you are, you're in my country and you're talking about being sensitive. Come on. I haven't said anything. What have I said disrespectful no, about I your country? I haven't said anything disrespectful to no, you. No, now you're starting to talk about veterans. I haven't said anything disrespectful, disrespectful to you. You're starting to talk about veterans. I haven't said anything disrespectful to you. I haven't said anything disrespectful to you. 
Okay. I haven't said anything disrespectful to you. You and are. Hold on a second. You're in my country. I so don't hold care on where a second, I'm man. We're having a conversation. No, you're the one that got it. You, you're We're the one that got a little bit excited. No, you hold okay. on a second. So this is my question to you. Go ahead. I am saying to you, not until every Mexican is out of poverty. Not into my Mexico. Not into my country. Is out of poverty. Okay. We can take care of other asking. countries. This is yes. what I'm asking. We can so take care of other countries. Every single person yes. is not out of poverty. Not every single person, but not as in my country is in good economic so status. So what is that line? In good economic status, and okay. the poverty is out. So and we don't have people, 60 million and 28 million and 68 million without medical care. So let's talk about the story of these okay. people that you're here covering now. Yes. These people are doing the right thing. Yes. Are these people invaders in your country? Let me ask you one thing. Should these people this, not be this, here? This is the ideology that you have, and this is the ideology that I have. Of course. Now, these are people that they have the right to migrate. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Now, will you take care of people on your own house, or will you take care of people other and the other people uh, on, the, uh, on the street? I have the ability to take care of both. Okay. You have the ability to take care of both. That's Mexico right. Mexico doesn't. Okay. Mexico doesn't have These that ability. Don't want to be in Mexico. Okay. They're okay. trying to leave. Oh, yes, hold on a second. But we're, we are taking care of them. We're feeding them, and the United Nations Pact that says that we need to give them education, feed them, give them These shelter want and to comfort. Leave your country. Yes, I know. Listen to me, man. I'm listening. As, as we are sheltering them from the south to the north, we need to give them food, education, medical care, and all that. Cool. We are have not you, having. Have you been to some of the shelters? Yes. Which are the government-funded ones? A lot of them. The first one that Which it was, are the government-funded uh, shelters? Right, I'm right, curious. I'm trying to right learn about the your state, country. From the state? From, in, in Tijuana, which are the government-funded shelters? From the state, there are three of them. Okay. There's three of them. Do you know how many shelters there are in Tijuana? No, yeah, a lot of them. How many? A lot of them. More than 20 something. Okay, so there's more than 20 shelters, uh -huh. but only three are government-funded? And do you know how many they were funded when they first got here? How many? It, it was two of them. Okay. And the majority, they were, they were funded by Mexico. Okay, so and what we, you're saying no, hold is on, that... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, look. How they come in, whoever takes care of them medically, their visas of transit, food, 235,000 rations of food. Wait, having food? Food Where? the Marine gives them to Where? eat. At the shelters? In Chiapas. Okay, okay. So, talking about Chiapas, how they enter Chiapas. Okay, okay. 335,000 rations of food have, have been given to the migrants. Okay. There's people dying of hunger in my country. I get it. We need to take care first of our people. I get it. And then other people. Okay, so when these people get to the border, you think they should be turned away? These people need to migrate. At Chiapas, uh -huh. they should, these people that did migrate, uh -huh. many of these people have passports. Yes. They're about to show their passports need, and official we're, we're, documents. Yes, yes. These people should be turned away at Chiapas. Yes, because we're against the UN pact. Okay. We don't want the UN pact. Got it. So you don't believe that anyone should be able to transit through your country? We, we, we believe that... These you people know, don't want to be in Mexico. Okay. They want to be in America. I know, I but I'm asking you personally, yes. you don't think they should be allowed to transit through uh, uh, Mexico? If, the, if uh, Mexico is not taken care of first, no. So... Everyone here should be turned away at the Chiapas border. Uh, everyone, you know, that we have four cities on the top five for violence and delinquency. Five cities on the top ten. I don't want to film you, man. You know, I, I don't want to get the gentleman, man. Uh, five cities on the top ten. Fifteen cities on the top fifty of violence and delinquency. Is the most, it's the no most problem. country that has, I just wanted to. What is the no purpose problem of with this that, conversation? Man. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. What is the purpose no, of me asking logical. you this uh, conversation? Yes. Go ahead. From the very beginning, I said, what is your opinion I told of these you that. things? I told now, you that. I'm just distilling it down yes. to the to the final point yes. so I can understand. That's all I'm trying to do okay. here, dude, is understand we're, your we're, position. Okay. Let so let me just clarify. Okay. You believe that every single one of these people should have been turned away at Chiapas. That's yes. the way you feel. Yeah. And yes, you feel that the Mexico. UN, the United Nations Pact, yes. that allows migrants to transit through uh, your country. We are against that. Okay, cool. Just wanted to know we're where against. you stand, brother. We're, thank we're, you. We're, we're Appreciate that. it, Oscar. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Justice. ¿Quieren poner bravos en mi país? ¿Cómo está eso? No, se quieren poner bravos en mi país, no lo van a lograr. Sí, dígame, dígame, no, no, que. No, se quieren, les digo, se quieren poner bravos en mi país, están locos. ¿Por qué no En otro país, vengan. Ya sabes que ya viste las gangas que hay. Sí. Hay gangas, hay narcotraficantes, hay. Hay pollos. They, you know, they, they want to, they want to, they want to start. Como el, el Mourinho que anda vendiendo aquí, dice que los mexicanos que están, digo, estás en México porque tú eres de centroamericano, tú eres de Argentina y estás humillando a los mexicanos.
This is. Espérame, viejo, no, déjame termino y ahorita lo ahorita lo tiendo. This is how we're doing right now. We're recording. And he tried to put me in front of everybody to make me feel little. I'm not going to give in. And I'm not going to bend. And I'm not going to back down. I am not. I am not going to back down. We are against the United Nations fact. First is Mexico. They're hurting the sovereignty of the United States. This guy's trying to play dumb. Like he's trying to feel like, oh my God, you're insulting other veterans. Get the hell out of here. You're in my country. I'm not going to back down. I don't care if there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Really, I don't. I will front every single one of them and I will tell them exactly what I feel. And this is a Mexican citizen confronting an activist and a liberal activist. And I'm right here. His name is Justice and he's from New York. And they're not trying to accept. They're not trying to accept that there's a crisis. Yes, it is a crisis. A humanitarian crisis. If they want to claim the asylum correctly, go ahead. But first is my people. What is that illogical with that? So you're saying all these people are criminals? Okay, let's go and check their background. Let's see if their background. Let's see how many documented people are in here. Let's see how many people have visas of transit. Let's see how many people have humanitarian visas. This is what I stand. We are against the United Nations Pact and we are against this crap. And we're not going to take it. And not even in my city I'm going to take it. And I'm going to come here tomorrow specifically to do it again. Every day. First is my country. Then is the United States. Let's fight for the sovereignty of the United States and let's fight for the sovereignty of our countries. Unbelievable, unfreaking believable. Unfreaking believable. And good that I got him on camera. And just for everybody to know, I'm not going to back down. I stay my ground. And I'm going to come here again and film these activists and ask them what are they doing here? And he wants to talk about sensitive, about veterans. Get the hell out of here. You want to talk about sensitive and veterans and you're in my country? You want to put rules and you want to put laws in my country? Get the hell out of here. Just for everybody to know, <laughs> because it's going to start, because it's going to start, it's going to start. There's gonna be so much trolls in my feed, <laughs> and I'm gonna get attacked so bad that it's gonna be funny. He said uh, he didn't answer when he was asked if you would take care of his house before he took care of others. He said he could take care of both, but what if he could not? That's what I told him. <laughs> Mexico doesn't have the capacity to take care of others. They don't want to be in your country. So go around it then. Go around it. I'm, you know, ungrateful. This is the people, they're ungrateful. Ungrateful. And like I told you guys, they know me. They know me already. They, 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 they you know how he approached me? Right slandered people. Border Network News, right slander people. I'm freaking believable. So Border Network News, right slanders people. Look at this guy right here. Look, look at this guy. Look at this. 
Look at this guy that is going over there. And I'm the only one over here, man. I wish I can have my partner right here. I wish I can have, you know, people that they're from America so they can talk to these activists, man, and they can tell them what time it is. And, you know, I, I think that, you know, I, for being a guy in Tijuana and for being a guy in Mexico and for being a Mexican citizen that knows how to speak both languages, I think that I did okay. I think that I defended my country. I think that I defended my city and I think that I defended America and I'm gonna make them uncomfortable every day and come here and sit down and talk and sit down and take pictures and sit down and watch how these people that he's saying that all of these people are not criminals and are not rapists all of these people he's saying that how does he know that that he went to his criminal records that he goes and you know that they're coming in documented I just told him, like, what, what, give me, give me, just give me a solution of what is happening in Chiapas, how they're coming in. He didn't talk about that, but not all of them are coming in. I don't care about all of them. I care about how they're coming in. And first is my country, and first is the sovereignty of Mexico and the sovereignty of the United States. So this is the guy right here liberal there he goes and I'm not going to let this happen really I'm not they think that you're gonna bully me I was I was around like six or seven people of them I'm not going to be afraid And, and you know the the Mexican the Mexican government is pretty much you know helping me right here they know that I'm defending my country save this people save this uh, save this save this video please save this video please as we uh, just encounter you know a full-on conversation with an activist This guy just barge in when I was, in, you know, I was about to interview her mom. Apparently, he barge in in front of me. And this is again. The line has uh, slowed down. I just I'm just waiting for uh, for for them to leave so they won't not, so, so they won't see my car <sighs> and for people they want to contribute I have my PayPal right there on my page thank you so much appreciate it I'm Oscar blue for both. let me change the camera how's everybody doing I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News. I believe that, like the gentleman just said, we are Border Network News. We write slandered uh, people. <laughs> we write slandered people. After, you know, I have documents about them making fake marriages and then making, so it's okay. You know, if they're suffering, if they're running away, you don't see me, like I told them, you don't see me claiming, you don't see my people claiming the asylum. You don't see Mexican from Tijuana citizens claiming the asylum right now and we're the number one country in the world for violence and delinquency that's what i told them you don't see me claiming the asylum and then the lady goes oh honey you're so lucky to get you're so lucky to be taken care of oh you don't even know how mexico is doing how many poverty is doing take care of this country first instead of coming over here and making a business out of it because that's what they're doing they're making a business out of it they're trying to fake it like they're helping humanity the hell out of here we're against the u.n pact and i'm affirm with that we're against the u.n pact and we're against this invasion yes it is an invasion whether you like it or not oh they're coming in with guns they're not coming in with guns but they're bringing in really bad people 
really bad people to our country. We already have too many people, too many bad people. There's too many cartels in our, in our country. There's too many of them. We are, we are trying to fix our country and he didn't give me a response. 60 million in poverty, 68 million without medical care, 28 million in a critical condition. Why are we not fixing our country and we're fixing and we're worrying about other people? But yeah, but they're running away, they're, 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 they're trying to kill them. You know, it's, 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 there's people in Mexico that they're running away from the same place and they're not taking care of. It's unbelievable. Um, freaking believable that there's people like this right here walking around in my city feeling all tough and walking around like they they think that they own this the hell out of here with that oh my god unbelievable ah they got me a little bit mad but I'm not gonna give in <laughs> it was really nice talking to you guys in this morning save this video please save this video as we have uh, you know uh, uh, fought uh, right now against uh, you know uh, against this this uh, this guy this liberal guy or this Democrat or this uh, whatever it is that he thinks that is his right to be over here and asking for everybody's right and we're not gonna back down we're not as, as I told you uh, we're going to stand on our ground. Border Network News is going to be known as fighting for every sovereignty of their, no of their nation. We don't write slander nobody. And we talk freely of what we, of what we, uh, of what we stand for, that is uh, the protection of a sovereignty of our nations. So uh, have a great day, everybody. I'm about to go now. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, watch out my, my back watch my back and get my bearings he took a picture of me that's okay the old the, the other lady took a picture of me that is okay they're gonna put me in their own you know they're gonna exploit that he takes advantage of this and he does that they're gonna put me on every page right now as a face is and as a race is and as all that that's okay but uh, you know, there's, uh, there needs to be, there needs to be peace in our country. There needs to be a controlled, a documented people coming in, in the south door. And uh, there needs to be control in our country of everything that is going on. So there's, uh, there's the PayPal over there in our page. If you guys want to donate, uh, please change the amount from pesos to dollars because it goes in through pesos. <laughs> so a lot of people are saying like, oh, no, we just donated this and it's this. No, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it makes quite of a mistake right there. So be sure of what you do when you, uh, when you contribute the amount. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Stay strong. Stay strong. God bless you all. Peace and love. And always your country first.